Uh, well, let's have more now on the Syrian uprising. In a new report by Human Rights Watch says abuses against civilians there constitute crimes against humanity. The organization is calling for the Arab League to suspend Syria's membership. The report focuses on the city of Homs and the surrounding area, and it documents dozens of incidents in which security forces and government militias violently attacked and broke up largely peaceful protests. As in other parts of the country, thousands of people have been subjected to arbitrary arrests and forced disappearances and systematic torture in detention. Witnesses describe how security forces have detained hundreds of people, including children, women and the elderly. Well, Omar al Isari is with Human Rights Watch and is the Director of Advocacy and Communications in the organization's Middle East and North Africa Division and joins us now live from uh, Beirut. So, welcome to the program, sir. One of the, the main issues that this has thrown up is the apparent systematic torture that is taking place. What kinds of things are we talking about and how widespread do you believe it is? We believe that they are very widespread. We, are, we believe that the torture is uh, systematic. We are talking about uh, uh, electrocution of detainees. We are talking about uh, a favorite method, a well-documented favorite method in Syria, which is called the tire, where the body is put inside the tire so that the limbs are exposed and people can be uh, beaten more easily. Uh, we're talking about uh, the removing of fingernails, um, many, many, many uh, forms of uh, torture and uh, it seems to be a favorite method because we have documented at least 10 cases of people who have be, uh, been killed as a result of this torture while being detained. Tell us a little bit about the process of documentation. Uh, I understand it was fairly widespread but mainly focused on, on this area of Homs, is that right? Yes, indeed. Uh, yes, indeed. We're talking about the governorate of Homs, which is one of the largest uh, in Syria, and it incorporates the city of Homs and the surrounding areas uh, where we have seen uh, much of the popular agitation over the past several months. And therefore, this report in particular concentrated on Homs, while previous reports and previous press releases concentrated on other areas. But for example, this report covers the period between mid-April and late August of this year, in which we documented the death of at least 500 than 87 civilians. So what would you suggest needs to be done now? The Syrian government clearly wouldn't agree, but it seems that they are ignoring the Arab League's peace plan. What's the way forward now? Well, we believe that uh, uh, the Arab League must uh, take serious action on Syria now. They announced a, a, an initiative, and uh, ever since the initiative was announced, uh, 100, at least 100 people have been killed in Syria, which means that the Syrian authorities are paying absolutely no attention to the Arab initiative, although the Syrian authorities are saying that they have complied with most clauses uh, of, that, uh, uh, of that initiative, which defies uh, belief. And therefore, the Arab League must take similar steps to the ones taken on uh, Libya, for example, when Colonel Gaddafi was waging a campaign against the protests uh, in Libya. The Arab League must uh, immediately suspend Syria from the League. It must, must support all efforts on the parts of the United Nations Security Council uh, to put an end to this despicable violence and this systematic abuse of human rights and this, uh, these systematic uh, crimes against humanity. There is absolutely no need for the Arab League anymore uh, to talk about diplomatic efforts when the killings continue and, and the Syrian authorities do not heed the Arab League's effort, no, and neither do they also uh, respect their own pledges, that uh, the Syrian authorities' pledges, that uh, the violence ha ha has ceased, that the Syrian uh, forces will be withdrawn from the streets, because that certainly is not happening on the ground. Omar al-Issawi from Human Rights Watch, thank you.